for the sign of Capricorn. What is the overall energy for the sign of Capricorn? Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So if you were currently in a relationship at that time in the recent past, it could have risen to new and better heights. The two of you would have reconnected. Also, if you were looking for love at that time, this would have been a very positive time to get out and meet people because something new could have, could have started that would have turned out to be very promising in terms of love. So you should have been prepared or you were prepared, you thought positively, and you had fun. Or that's what you should have done. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Now this is a very, very positive card to get in a reading. If you were single, this card often indicates that someone was trying to sweep you off your feet. And if you were in a relationship, the Knight can indicate commitment, marriage. At the least, when it comes to love, this card means positive messages. Things that you love hearing, things that you would like to hear. So you would have needed to be open to exploration of your feelings. And that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Four of Wands. Now when it comes to love, this card can indicate that your, that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed. Up and, well, I would say up to and including possible marriage. Now, if you're looking for love, it shows that special events such as weddings, bar mitzvahs, bars, commitment ceremonies, things of that nature, they are very good places to meet someone special at this time. So if you get invited to something like this and you're single, make it a point to go. Then it's paired with a six of pinnacles. Now, if you look at the picture in this card, it points to a happy, generous, fair, and balanced time for at least a while. And it could be in a relationship or situations or friendships. So if we're talking about a relationship, allow your lover to give to you. At the same time, make sure that you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. And if you're single but looking, this card, when it shows up, you're likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and very generous. Now this may come about by way of introduction from someone you know maybe a friend or a family member. Uh, it, but either way it goes, it's uh, the introduction will be from someone that you know. Um, just keep in mind that uh, this new person will be kind, positive, and generous, which is a good thing. Now make sure you let people know that you're looking for a partner. And with these two cards paired together, the Four of Wands is basically letting you know that if you're in a relationship, it's about to become a whole lot more committed. And if you're single and looking, go to special events uh, uh, because they'll be a great place to meet someone right now. And it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, if you're already in a relationship, uh, make sure it's um, it's a give and take situation. When they give, you give. 
Um, so make sure it's equally balanced uh, as far as give and take. Um, and like I said, if you're single, it's a great time to meet someone. Go to special events and um, you're more than likely to meet someone new who's, who's like I said, kind, positive, and generous. And who wouldn't want someone like that in our lives, right? So make sure you let people know that you're looking for a partner because it'll probably, probably, they'll probably come to you by way of introduction. And that's a present. So let's move on to the challenge. We have the death card. Okay, the death card, when it comes to love, it's about clinging to a relationship that you are deeply unhappy in because you don't want to let go of the familiar or because you hate the thought of being alone. Just keep in mind, you're doing neither yourself or your partner any favors, if that's the situation. So have a frank and honest discussion about any problems you have with the relationship. And if you can't, or if they can't or won't make any changes, or you just, or just can't work at this time, then perhaps you probably want to let it go. Because not all relationships are fixable, but you still should try to fix it first. And the death card is paired with the Four of Cups. Now the Four of Cups is it basically, it's about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and the many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be or what could have been. So with regards to love, look hard at yourself. Look hard at yourself as to whether you're being realistic with regards to love. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the death card, if you're clinging to a relationship that you're deeply unhappy in, uh, it could just be because you don't want to be alone or you don't want to let go of the familiar, but you're not doing you or your partner any favors by clinging on to this. So you'll need to, um, well, with being that it's paired with the Four of Cups, uh, is this wishful thinking? You're just holding on to it, uh, wishing and hoping that things will change by itself. Uh, if your partner or you are not able to work on it, then maybe you should let it go. But you should try to fix it first. Um, like I said, the Four of Cups, it's paired with the Death card, it's paired with the Four of Cups. So it looks like you may just be wishful thinking at this time. Uh, and you need to make sure you're counting your blessings. Okay, so uh, this these two are really about free will. Nothing set in stone with the tarot, as we all know. So if your partner is not willing to work on it and it's not fixable, then you might want to let it go instead of wishful thinking, okay? But uh, you need to try to fix it first. And like I said, um, nothing's set in stone. Nothing is set in stone in the tarot. So it possibly can be fixed, but that's just something that uh, you'll have to try instead of wishful thinking that comes from the Four of Cups. So it may just take work, and that's gonna be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Three of Cups. Now all of this card, it can mean a reunion with a lost love. 
it does not always indicate that. You have to look at the rest of the reading to decide whether it's about a reunion. Now, if you are single, the most likely interpretation is that you will meet a likely love soon. Someone who really fits the bill of the person or the type of person that you've been looking for. And this person will be a new love, not someone you used to be with. So the Three of Cups is paired with the Two of Swords. Now this is good romantically, especially for a romance that's already in existence. This card can signify that your relationship is going to move to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase. With treating each other as equals playing a major role. So if you're looking for love, take a good hard look at yourself to see if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with first. Uh, just keep in mind, people can smell desperation a mile away, and it could be a major turnoff. Now, a life partner does not complete you. A life partner is like icing on the cake of your own completed life. So don't look outside yourself for happiness. Then the relationship you truly want and need will come. With these two cards paired together, the Three of Cups, it means a, a reunion with a lost love. Uh, could be on the horizon. Okay, or if you're already, I'm sorry, or if you're single, this card, uh, it usually could mean that you're about to meet a likely love soon. Someone who fits the bill, the type of person you've been looking for. And it's paired with the Two of Swords. Um, now, when you meet this person, uh, it'll be um, one that you've been looking for. And it will develop in a great way, in a lighter, easy or in a light, comfortable, easy, balanced way, you two will treat each other as equals, playing a major role. So this is a good thing. And that's going to be the outcome. So Capricorn, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe. Leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.